A new poll shows that finding an affordable place to live is on the minds of more and more people across Maryland. Nearly 20% of those polled called it their top concern, trailing only crime in the rankings and ahead of public education, taxes, and jobs. Since 2019, Montgomery County's produced more than 1,300 affordable units, even through the pandemic. Another 1,850 have been preserved. In the current fiscal year, of all the units that we have funded or committed to funding through production or preservation, we've generated 69.5% of those units as affordable units. We've preserved a higher percentage of existing affordable units because new housing construction is so expensive. There we've been able to generate about 33% of the newly built units as affordable in FY24. We also prioritize protecting naturally occurring affordable housing. For years, more affordable housing units were lost to new development than replaced. The county started with around 42,000 naturally occurring units in the year 2000 and now has fewer than 22,000 of those units remaining. It's projected by park and planning that we're likely to lose another 10,000 or more by 2030. We're trying to stop that trend by working with community partners in new ways. Last month, we celebrated changes to our writer first refusal law that will help keep long-term tenants from being priced out of their homes. Looking back over the last several years, the writer first refusal was an option in hundreds of transactions, but only exercised a handful of times because of the costs of that process. The new law eliminates the cost of holding a property, which will allow us to protect more affordable units. And last year, I signed the rent stabilization bill into law that provides renters legal protection against rent gouging in response to a sharp rise in this rent hikes your... that had nothing to do with costs. It also will provide a comfortable margin for property owners to keep up with maintenance and make needed repairs to get a return on their investment. Montgomery County made historic investments in affordable housing during my first five years as county executive. And with this budget, that record investment continues, a record $169 million available for affordable housing, including $65 million in new money. I want to thank Governor Westmore and other state leaders for prioritizing affordable housing in this year's legislative session. I appreciate the cooperation and partnership of the executive and the legislative branches, but there's more work ahead. I was joined during my weekly media briefing on Wednesday by Maryland Secretary of Housing, Jake Day. We talked about the progress made this session and how it helps make Maryland a place for everyone. I encourage you to watch our conversation, which is on Montgomery County's YouTube page.